Okay, moving on to part two of coordinates and Cartesian plane. Hope you guys had some fun um, during the last lesson. So again, how do we plot uh, points uh, and how to determine the relationship? So whenever you report points and you actually get a straight line, we actually call that a linear re uh, relationship. So using this example given to us, you have x0, y is 8, 1, x is 1, y is 6, x is 2, y is 4, x is 3, y is 2. So this is actually talking about the rel rel relevant points given. So the first one is 0, 8, next one is 1, 6, next one is 2, 4, next one is 3, 2. Okay, and we will plot them onto the uh, Cartesian plane. And let's see what we get. Okay, 0, 8 is here, followed by 1, 6, followed by 2, 4, followed by 3, 2. And I actually could use a straight line to join them together. And when that happens, it simply means that the lines, the points are, um, are linear. Okay, linear means it's a straight line. Okay, so the relationship between X and Y is linear for this case. Okay, moving on. Okay, using this, okay, why don't you try on your own to determine where are the points? Okay, you may want to pause the video, okay, to see uh, point by point whether you are correct. First one is 1, 3. Okay, next one is 2, 4. Next one is 3, 5. Next one is 4, 6. Next one is 5, 7. And you look at it you can actually form a straight line, isn't it? So therefore, the relationship between X and Y is linear. Okay? What about another one? You have 0, 8, 1, 7, 2, 6, 3, 5, and 4, 4. Okay? So, 0, 8 is there. 1, 7 is here. 2, 6 is there. 3, 5 is here. And 4, 4 is here. And I put the line together. You actually form a straight line, isn't it? So again, the relationship between X and Y is linear for this case. Okay, the next one, okay, I'm using one of the example in, in the practice, okay, for question number nine. So you're supposed to draw a, a line, um, which is called Y equals 2X minus 3. So first and foremost, you need to construct a table with the range for X value from minus 2 to 2. So that is what it means, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, and 2. So that's between, okay, x must be between minus 2 to 2. So that's how you get five values here. And now, the next thing is, you need to find the, uh, the missing value in y using the equation y equals to 3, 2x minus 3. So we have done this before in algebra, okay? So... For example, when x is minus 2, I substitute x minus 2 into here. So 2 times minus 2, you actually get minus 4, minus 4, minus 3, you get minus 7. Be careful of the negatives. Huh? So that's how you get minus 7 here. So you do the same thing, minus, uh, put substitute minus 1 into the equation. That's how you actually get minus 5. Substitute 0 into the equation, you actually get minus 3. Substitute 1 into the equation, I actually get minus 1. Substitute 2 into the equation, I actually get y equals to 1. Okay, good news. So once we have all this information, we are able to plot the graph, isn't it? So this is the graph that we are going to plot. Okay, the line is not meant to be there first. In fact, the line should be a... Okay, let me come back here again. So again, with all the points given, so uh, 2, minus 2, and minus 7. So minus 2 and minus 7 is here. So I plot the point. Okay, minus 1 and minus 5, that's the point. 0 minus 3 is there. 1 minus 1 is there. And then 2, 1 is there. And I could actually draw a line, isn't it? It's a straight line. So it's a straight line, isn't it? Okay. And is the, to answer D, yes, it's a straight line yeah, because it cuts across all the points. And to answer D, they say, what is the range for Y value? Okay, for this case, we are, we are not using our statistic understanding for range, yeah, guys. 
the range will tell us it's actually from where to where. So for this case, the range for y is actually from minus 7. You see, minus 7 is between, is greater, smaller than or great or, or equals to y, smaller than or equals to 1. Okay? So that's how you actually present the range in this part of, um, of Cartesian plane. Got it? So I'm giving you more examples. So the next part for 10a, you're supposed to draw these three lines, y equals x, y equals to 3x plus 1, and y equals to 5x minus 2. So I have actually plotted the points. Okay, so let's use the same technique. Okay, do bear that in mind again, y equals to x, just substitute, you know, this is quite straightforward, minus 2 into it, so you get minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, and 2. The next part, again, you substitute minus 2 into the equation, so you get minus 2 times 3 is minus 6 plus 1, you get minus 5. Minus 3, minus uh, 1 times 3 is minus 3 plus 1, you get minus 2. 3 times 0 is 0, plus 1 is 1. 3 times 1 is 3, 3 plus 1, uh, 3 plus 1 is 4. 3 times 2 is 6, 6 plus 1 is 7. Okay, that's the, the last point. And what about this one? Minus 2, 5 times minus 2 is minus 10, minus 2, 10 minus 2 is minus 12. Minus 5. Minus 2 is minus 7, 5 times 0 is 0, minus 2, 5 times 1 is 5, 5, minus 2 is 3, 5 times 2 is 10, 10, minus 2 is 8. Okay, so I hope you guys are able to recall all this that we have learned in algebra. So let's plot y equals to x. Okay, again, you have minus 2, minus 2, where's minus 2, minus 2, there you are. Minus 1, minus 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2. Yep, that's a straight line, and the line is called y equals to x. Okay, what about y equals to 3x minus 1? So again, you have minus 2, minus 5, there you are. Minus 1, minus 2, 0, 1, 1, 4, and then 2, 7. So that is the next line, which is y equals to 3x plus 1. Okay, what about the next line, five, y equals to 5x minus 2? So again, you plot the points. Minus 2, minus 12. Minus 1, minus 7. Next one, 0. Minus 2. 1, 3. 2, 8. Right? So and now there's another line there called y equals to 5x minus 2. Okay? So seems quite tedious, but don't worry, guys. You will get it. Okay? Do it properly, and you should be able to draw fairly accurate. You need to use grid paper at home to draw them accurately. Make sure your pencil uh, is sharpened before you draw. Okay, a blunt pencil will not be able to draw accurately for graphs. Okay, bear that in mind. Okay, you just need to do all these questions in the uh, in the textbook. Okay, and, and those questions in my online. Okay, if you have any issue, just drop me a note on Teams and uh, or or direct message. Okay, bye bye.